What's up, YouTube? My name is Jared Cavley. I'm president and founder of Pristine Auction, and we're bringing you a new series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open some vintage wax boxes. We're gonna see what comes out of it. We're gonna let you know what we paid for it. We're gonna send those cards off for grading. We're gonna follow up and let you know what we made off those cards and tell you if you've made money or lost money on the box. First, we got an 83 Tops box. One thing I wanted to point out, this one is actually authenticated and sealed by Baseball Card Exchange. They seal them, so we bought this with confidence knowing that this is a uh, full, fresh box that has not been tampered with. So that's why we're gonna use this for the video today. I'm into this box for 765 bucks. That's our total cost, 765 bucks. So the key cards we're looking for, we're looking for Wade Boggs rookie, Tony Gwynn rookie, Ryan Sandberg rookie. Those are basically the, the key cards. We're really gonna need them to grade nines or tens. Really, we need to see at least one of those uh, be a 10 in order to really see our money back on this. Um, a Tony Gwynn is really the key one. If you get a Tony Gwynn and a 10, it's gonna be about 1700 to 1900 bucks for that card. There's some other fun stuff in here too, but those are the really main ones that we're looking for. The set is 792 cards. Uh, this has 36 packs with 15 cards each pack. So we're looking at 540 total cards. So there's no guarantee really that we're even gonna see those cards, but hopefully we'll see them a few times. They feature the Reggie Jackson card right on front. Obviously the uh, guys we're looking for were rookies at the time, so you never really know if they're gonna pan out. So Reggie Jackson, of course, was the superstar of the time. So he's right on the front. The, the box is actually of this era and before, really before, I don't know that this would have a whole lot of value, but some people actually sell just the empty boxes. There's some value there. So that's something to keep an eye out for. This was really before the boom in sports cars, I'd say. So, you know, early, early 90s probably was when cards really became ultra popular and got overproduced. So that's why this is really kind of a rare thing to even find sealed still. So this thing has been sitting here in this box for 37 years waiting for us to open this bad boy. Let's do it. Ooh, there it goes. See, normally these aren't actually sealed. It's only sealed because it's authenticated by Baseball Card Exchange. So I'll open it and show you what it would normally look like. All right, so basically, generally, that's, that's how it was produced and delivered back in 1983, just like that. Oh, it smells good. It's got that old, like, uh, baseball card shop. Smell. Old mildewy. Oh, we got gum in this. Oh, no. I got to eat it. How should we do this? I remember back in the day going to the card shop, you're like, all right, which pack? I get one pack. Which one am I picking? You'd kind of reach down and grab one. I'm going to do that first one. This is, if I were in the shop in 1983, this is the pack I would have opened. So here's what an open, unopened pack looks like right there. This thing is fresh sealed, never been opened, never been really touched, probably before now. Here we go. Pack number one. So this is another part, part of the problem with grading is these pieces of gum are stuck there and over time, actually this one worked out pretty good, but over time they develop some like waxiness and some staining to the cards. Yes. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. It's not like forming in the gum. It's just like, it's like crumbly candy. Is that okay? Am I like, am I gonna die? I gotta be honest though, it actually doesn't taste bad. It's almost like a piece of candy. All right, these cards are looking pretty fresh, not gonna lie, pretty crispy. I'm, I'm liking our chances of getting some high-grade stuff in here. But as of now, I haven't got a single card that I wanna tell you about. <laughs> oh, wow, what's this? Never seen this before. We could win a World Series trip. Check that out. But actually, sometimes these things are somewhat valuable. I have no idea, I didn't even know these were in here. We'll have to check that out. Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer. I don't think there's any value to that card, though. Fernando Valenzuela, Phil Necro, Hall of Famer. Still none of the key cards we're looking for, but here's a good example. Look how off-center that card is. Came right out of the pack just like that. So that's the trouble we're gonna have is uh, when we get, if we get one of the key cards, it needs to be centered in order to get our high grade. All right, pack one was a dud. If I went to the card shop and that was my pack, I wouldn't have been a happy person. So Gary Carter. Oh, look, we got another one. These must be in every pack. Tom Seaver. That one looks like it's in pretty good shape. They're definitely crisp. Two down, lots to go. Dale Murphy. Wow. No, Dale Murray. <laughs> Dale Murray. Got me. This is a good example. If you look at the back, this is where the gum sat. So you see the top of that card on the back with all the staining. So that's going to be an issue too with grading. That's why we shouldn't put gum in packs of baseball cards. Although it is fun to eat 30 years later. This is kind of a cool card. I don't think it's really valuable. Stolen base leaders in 1982. Who knows? Who knows what the stolen, who the stolen base leaders are? Ricky Henderson and Tim Raines. Gary Carter, all-star. Worthless. Gotta see one of our key cards though here. Come on, baby. Oh, Cal Ripken. That's one of the cards on our list. That's a second year Cal Ripken card. It's in pretty stinking good shape. It might be worth trying. But this is one of those cards where we're pretty much a 10 or bust. So I don't know. I might have to look at that a little bit closer. 
Oh, Gary Gaetti, that's a rookie card. I don't think he's gonna be worth it either, but that does look pretty crisp too. We'll think about that. I'll put them on our, let's think about grading that pile. All right, so I'm starting to see some, some light. Still not, none of the big three you're working for though. Robin Yount, all-star. Oh, Nolan Ryan. Mike Schmidt, look at that, a few few names right in a row. Nolan Ryan, Mike Schmidt, followed by Alan Trammell. Dave Dravecki, that's a rookie card of Dave Dravecki. You guys know his story, he's got a great story. Oh, there we go, we got a hit. Wade Boggs. He is uh, one of the key rookies in this set. I'm trying to look at it to see what kind of grade I think that would get. I feel like it was at the front or back. I don't know, man, it looks pretty sharp. Uh, I see a little bit of surface something going on. If I had to guess, I think that's probably in there. Maybe not. I think it's really off center too, top to bottom, now that I look at it. Darn it! Well, we found one. At least we know they're in here. Nothing. Nothing. Really, the most notable card we've got so far is the Wade Boggs. One Wade Boggs rookie that I'm afraid is not going to grade better than a nine, but we'll see. My pile of nothing is getting bigger there. Randy Johnson. Look at that. Not the not the one we're thinking of, but it is definitely Randy Johnson. Didn't know there was a Randy Johnson back then. I feel like I should have kept it sealed. <laughs> Another Cal Ripken, so we got two of that card. Right behind the rookie cards, that's the most valuable card you can find. Getting down in the nitty gritty here. There we go. Ryan Sandberg rookie card right there. Looks like the color's like really faded to me. I don't know what the deal is with that. But it does appear to be pretty sharp. Centering seems to be good. Might have a winner, we'll have to see. So we're only missing Tony Gwynn. I feel like it lulled me to sleep. That woke me back up. Six packs left. Six packs left and no Tony Gwynn rookies. One Ryan Sandberg rookie, one Wade Boggs rookie. We're gonna need to hope for some, oh, there it is. Nice. Tony Gwynn rookie, that one, that color looks sharp on that one. It's gotta be at least a nine, I would think. Maybe centering a little bit, top to bottom. But we hit all three, that's the good news. That's it. All right, so results. We got one of each key rookie card. Ryan Sandberg, Wade Boggs, Tony Gwynn. They definitely look gradable. I'm thinking if I had to guess, probably nines, but uh, you know, we're really hoping we get one a 10 out of those. Uh, that would make the box well worth it. So we're gonna put those in cases. We're gonna send them away. The two Cal Ripken Jr. second year cards look worth sending away, so we're gonna send those away. So we did get two Nolan Ryan cards. That's worth grading as long as we think we're possibly getting a 10. I don't think either of these are gonna be a 10 because they got a little nick up in the top. Uh, but we're gonna, for fun, send one away and see what it grades. So we'll pick one of those, we'll send it away for grading. We're gonna put the other one in the pile. We're gonna take this whole pile, put it back in the box, and we're gonna give this entire thing away to one of you. So all we're asking for you to do in order to enter for that, in the comments, uh, let us know who your favorite rookie card is of all time. Your favorite rookie card of all time and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that's all you gotta do. Let us know what your favorite rookie card is and subscribe to our channel and we'll choose one of you and we'll send this entire box loaded with all the cards that we got other than the five that we're sending away for grading. We paid 765 bucks for the box. We're gonna get the cards back graded. We're gonna do a video, show you what they graded and then we're gonna resell those and let you know how we did overall. So make sure to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. We're gonna do a lot more of these box opening videos um, just like this, some vintage stuff, show you what we pull and uh, send those cards off to get graded and see how we do.